Welcome everyone to this Force Friday. Uh, we are going to be discussing with you our favorite thing, I would say, when it comes to force, and that is gesture drawing. Um, I'm very, very happy to say that it looks like it's picking up steam. There's a lot of people on Instagram um, that are putting together, you know, gesture sessions, and I'm super excited about that. I'm super grateful that that's happening because to me, this is probably the most fun part of drawing <laughs> in general is to, you know, do these gesture drawings. What does that mean? Well, for me, I would say gesture drawing uh, isn't necessarily a time thing. It's not necessarily that, you know, it's a one minute, two minute, three minute drawing, or maybe under five minutes, but that you're always drawing gesture, right? It could be a 20 minute drawing, but the core of that 20 minute drawing is still to understand how the body works. And for us, uh, meaning Swami Mutunjay and I, and all the students at drawingforce.com, what we all believe in is that force is driving that gesture, right? That there are rules to that, that there's rhythms and the way the body flows, right? And that's all based off of anatomy and gravity, anatomy and gravity, and how those two things come together to create the gestures of the figure, right? To create the function of how it all works. And that that function is beautiful, right? Because it is creating these rhythms. So that's what we're gonna to talk to you about today. Uh, you're gonna to have the opportunity to watch Swanley Mertunjay and I just go through a bunch of gesture drawings. Uh, we're gonna be talking while we're drawing, answering your questions as always in the chat, um, and just hope that we have a really fun and exciting um, session with you guys today. So before we get into it, let's say hi to uh, Swanley Mertunjay. Uh, how's it going, Swanley? Good. My digital pencil is sharpened, so ready to go. <laughs> exactly. It's all good. And uh, Mertunjay, I think, has got his camera trained on his paper. So uh, how are you doing yeah. there, Mertunjay? Hiding in the shadows, ready. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding behind your name. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but I'm here. So, just... yeah. So Mertunjay is going to go first. I'm going to go second. Swanley is going to um, pick up the back end there. Um, before we get started, uh, I do want to share with you a couple of very, very exciting things that are happening on the website before I forget. Uh, super big uh, sales going on to help you guys prep for the summer. And now it's time to take advantage. All of these discounts that are up here, they end on the 10th, which is very soon. That's uh, that I think is next Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday, right? So the middle of next week. Um, we brought back the sale for the mentorship sessions. You can see it says here at the bottom, last spring, 12. So last spring 12 gives you $200 off the 12 session package. Last spring 36 gives you $1,000 off of 36 sessions, right? So 36 sessions, you think about that, that's nine months, all right? Nine to 12 months, depending on how often you meet at once a, you know, once a month, I mean, once a week, uh, you know, you're talking into the end of the year, right? Past the end of the year. So that gives you plenty of time to work with one of us and, you know, learn how to draw, okay? The other two are pretty new. So let me explain these very quickly before we start drawing. Uh, the Live Force Basics, what is that? Well, on the 21st of this month, May 21st, it's a Sunday, I will be doing a Live Force Basics workshop, right? So, you know, people will be able to attend. I am going to um, try to grab work from students in that session and uh, critique as well. So the first probably couple of hours will be like more of lecture and then there'll be like some critique time and then lecture again and then that'll end that workshop. So it's three hours really focused on basics, answer any questions. So, you know, if you're someone who only knows us through the YouTube channel, it gives you a chance to really, ask, you know, ask questions. Uh, if you're a standard membership, you know, you have standard membership on the site, it gives you a chance to come in. Uh, if you're somebody who has the books and hasn't ever had a chance to ask any questions or get feedback, that's a great opportunity to come in as well. And then number two, one day workshop. What is that? Well, that is um, a workshop that I did in the past um, at the Academy in San Francisco. And there's a little over two hours worth of content there of me going through force. Uh, so it's pre-recorded, right? So it's like a course that you can buy on drawingforce.com. It's pre-recorded and there's a lot of demoing in there. And you get to see me standing in a classroom with a model, drawing at an easel and get a sense of what that really all looks like and feels like. And I think the big difference, I think the value in that honestly is 
getting to watch me draw physically and me standing there and like talking to a class, you know, and all the things that come up in that, the questions that come up in that, some of the assignments I have the students do while we're in the class, right? And then you own that forever, right? You pay it once and you own that course and you always have access to it. So um, I put all of these in the description, by the way, today. So there's links in the description. You can get to any one of those pages. I think with the link, it'll already show you the discount um, in the checkout. So it's already all taken care of. You'll see, you should see that subtraction already show up in there as well to make it easier for you. And again, you know, it ends um, in a few days. So if you're interested, like I said, please uh, sign up. I'd love to see you guys in that one day workshop. That's for sure. You know, uh, that this way we can get to talk even more and it's three hours of, of more of this with more specific education in it. Okay. All right, any questions in the chat about all of this? You guys see any notes in here? Let me get you guys up and running here. It doesn't look like it. Uh, forest fathers, your children have come ready. To... <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you, Dyston. <laughs> I have always felt some, some kind of closeness to you. I couldn't figure out why. Just finished watching Forest Friday 45 and along with the others. It's really helped me a lot. That's awesome, Kennedy. All right, so let's get started, right? Well, I think I just want to get to the drawing, right? So Mertunji is going to go first, uh, then I will go um, after that. Swenley will uh, take care of the, the tail end today. Uh, let me make sure that everyone's got control. I believe Mertunji, I already gave you yours, and Swenley will take care of yours right now. And uh, let's get to it. So I'm going to stop share, or and you can take over, um, Mertunji. Yeah. There you go. Scan your McLeary. Yeah, I'm going to pin your camera so it's big so everyone can see your paper. Yeah, okay. but I don't have the power. <laughs> oh, you don't? I thought I gave it to you. All right, hold on a sec. Sure. Um, Ratanje, my co host. There you go. All right. Uh, all right. So, first today. <laughs> All right, so guys, what I'm gonna be doing is um, I will be sharing some references with you. So maybe uh, you can grab the grab the screenshot or you know something like that, uh, because yeah, I'll, I'll be drawing on the on the paper today. So that will be actually very fun. Me and Mike, uh, we both are gonna draw traditionally today. So yeah, we're gonna be having uh, two different experiences. Yeah, pencil on paper, you know, or uh, old as gold thing. So. Uh, let's go on. So I just uh, randomly uh, chose, you know, some of them. And uh, today we'll be drawing a little bit faster. So it's, uh, it's a two minute gesture drawing, right? That we are doing today. So uh, here's the first one. Every time I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you like two or three like together basically. Like that's one. And here's one of them. So yeah. You have uh, a few seconds. You can grab on like a, a screenshot or, or a picture or something. And uh, yeah, we'll start to like, uh, you know, we'll start from this one, then go on this one, go on this one. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's go for it. Hopefully, everyone uh, grab their shots. Um, hmm. And uh, I will stop share now. Okay. So, is my camera pink? Yep. Okay, great. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna move this one. Uh, okay, I'll be today. I'll be drawing with. Uh, I have a few tools here. No, I have more definitely. <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll be drawing with my favorite tool. Yeah, I'll start with this. So let's see. I'm gonna use my skull as a paperweight today. <laughs> <laughs> Nice paperweight. Yeah. I like the cutoff leg. When you throw the camera, it still switches to you, Mike. Maybe Mitunja has to pin it for it to be permanent. Yeah, he might have to pin. I have to. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I think that you have to pin it, Mitunja. I did it. Uh, I did it. All right. Um, so uh, <clears throat> let's go for the first one. Um, any of you guys are timing me out or should just go for it? I would say just draw. Yeah. So this first figure is bending. It's going to go for, again, remember, we are drawing the energy, not the body. 
I keep reminding myself all of it. Sometimes I forget it myself. <laughs> Oh, this, this guy's bending. This guy, look at the look at the force in there. The the head section, the neck section, that cross in there. And as we have it, a drawing really, really good. So I'm just like starting it off. Maybe I draw like draw these like three uh two or three times, and then just to kind of like clarify that. So right now, this is just, uh, you can say it's like a form. I'll try to draw a little bit smaller so I can like put the whole, whole figure in it. Uh, this time, let's draw by a little bit smaller. All right, this guy's been in. Get that, get that awesome force you know, from the back to the neck right there. I'll come off the shoulders and to the head and to the neck. Just need a little bit of that. Uh, all right, go for. So, Mertunje, we are getting comment about to try to talk louder. Try to talk louder? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Uh, what I'm going to do is I draw that leg there. Yeah, so this time uh, I'm still kind of like off the paper a little bit. Okay. Um, This leg is right there. Okay. Yeah, try to draw a little. I'll try to draw a little bit, a little bit more smaller. <laughs> All right, great, right? So it's a great warm up, you know. So if you guys are like drawing with us, you know that that's awesome because and one of the reasons why we're, you know, yeah, you can say like why I'm not sharing. I could have done it. I could have like put it on my iPad, but the thing is, I want you to draw with us, right? But like. Yeah, like I, I like we want you to draw with that, right? So it's it's a good like good thing to just like kind of follow along, not just focusing on the reference like too much. Okay. All right, let's do it for one quick time. This time I want to draw this. Let's see if I can draw the whole figure. All right, again there. I try to um try to draw this like whole body in here, like with the whole body. See how my how am I switching the grip here? You know, like this grip helps me get like the side. So this is like the tone, right? And this grip can help me like do the line thing. Okay. So uh yeah, you know, we it's it's a good idea to just change the grip, like get the specificness out of it. What are you drawing with again, uh Mutunji? What tool is that? Uh I'm drawing with Stabler 8B. 8B, okay. Yeah. That's the Mars Loom Black, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stadler or Mars in the graphic. It's mm -hmm. my favorite tool, guys, by the way. Let's see if I can go find mine just to play with it and see how it does. Sure. All right. Um, let's try to draw the other arm here really quick. This leg is going, yeah, going away from us. So it's going like that. Let's you see like the, the energy in here, right? It's such an awesome energy that we want to capture. So that is for sure needed. Uh, I'm also gonna, you can also tone, tone it down to like put some visual weight in there. Yeah, if you're like toning down something, let's say you have like two circles in there, you tone one, that looks heavy, okay? It's, it's all about like visual weight. Okay, uh, the other, other leg which is coming towards us, so let's say it's, it's something like this, okay? Uh, all right, there we go, okay. Two minutes, one, two minute paper. I hope it's two minutes, right? Because I was like talking in the middle, <laughs> but I'm not pretty sure, but okay. It's, it's like I said, it's fine if you're off. Yeah. All right, the second one, let's try to deal with the second. So what I learned from that experience, by the way, I, just need to do a little bit small drawing. Like, right all right, um, the woman in the middle. So let's go for it. She she has like a really nice, uh, kind of like a, like a stretch and a squash there, and there's like some specificness in there as well. Right? So I really want this like hard end of the rib cage right there. 
Yeah. I was gonna bring that up and show her weird like this. Put out the spine in there. So that uh that seals the form. You see, like that seals the form in there that brings us like this three-dimensional quality to it. And then look at that, look at the arm there. You guys have the photograph right here. And then I want to get in some specificness. So I'm changing the brick here. Again, this all can be cleaned up later or polished later. But if you don't get, if you don't draw it with the same energy that the model is pushing, or the if you don't have the enough empathy about it, then you won't be able to bring in that, bring in that energy. Okay. We can clean it up later, though. Okay, we have the we have the hand right here. Okay. All right, and then the leg. So this leg's coming forward. It goes like this. And then this leg goes back really right back. Most like this. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a, a small one here. Okay. So mm, let's see again the same ribcage thing over here, the rear rent thing over here, the spine. Uh okay, she's putting down, putting it down like this, and then the straight back leg. And yeah, the, obviously the hand, don't forget the hand. It's very, very important for this, this pose. And it's like this. I'm putting like, you see, I can put, uh, I'm putting like so much of, uh, what do you say, like the, like the focus in there, I'm like pushing it harder. Uh, yeah, do that. Yeah, right there. Uh, if, you, if you want to like know about the forces of this one, this is just like this, and it's just like this. By the way, if I'm if I'm doing like these specific things, let's say for example in the front I did this one, this thing right over here, it doesn't mean I'm I'm following the yeah, I'm following the contour, but underneath all of this is still this. Right? This is what I'm thinking about. This is the simplicity level I'm thinking about, basically. Okay. All right. Go for a third one. I'm gonna be uh running out of my uh, my pad today, which is <laughs> which is great. All right. Um. Uh, again, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil real quick. Or let's try to draw it from this liver graphite. Uh, now this is not lira. This is one of the the local ones that I have in my country. Lira is not available here, at least not nine uh, B. I would say so. Yeah, but this was great. Uh, if you're not getting lira, by the way, just one tip from my side. If you want to get a water soluble graphite, okay, any of the water soluble graphite would work. I guess. All right. So uh, the third figure. Let's go with this. I'm gonna draw smaller again. Try trying to like build the whole paper. See like the the angle of the shoulder. The angle of the shoulder is very very important by the way. This is fine. You see how much I'm like pushing. You look at the, the pressure on the paper there. Okay. I'm trying to make pushing. And there's the uh, rear end. You see how the other force is coming from here to here. Okay. And then uh, yeah, that's that's the rear end basically. But look at all the form that's kind of sweeping up in here. So that's a rear end. Uh, I'm using these lines as cross contour lines that actually reveals the form. Okay. All right, the other leg. I love that leg in there. That's super like foreshortened leg. It's really awesome. Something like this. And then this leg comes forward. And you can go up front to front on this leg. It's like putting all this energy into the ground right there. I see how uh, the, the only thing I don't like it, like about water solid sticks is like these are very uh, reflecting. Okay. You can see the difference between this and this, right? It's, it's kind of reflective, okay? I try to return back to that one, I'm just like sharpening it up really quick. I'd like everyone to notice that even though you're using different supplies, you could still see it's a Mertunje force drawing, you know, like it's still the same like stroking, it's still Mertunje's hand. So don't get too caught up in it's a certain pencil or it's this or that. I mean, it helps. I'm not gonna say supplies don't help, but, it's still Mertunje's 
humanity is hands that are making the marks, you know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right about it. I mean, tools do help, but uh, artists make tools. Tools don't make artists. Yes, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting philosophy here today. <laughs> yes. All right, so again, I'm just going to do this. I'm just kind of drawing it because, uh, drawing it again because uh, it was kind of reflecting. And oh, right there, I almost tore the paper. <laughs> at all the energy that's like going so, like that you have like the head in there it's kind of uh, kind of hidden it's a little uh little sneaky i like the sneaky look in the, in the figure um if you guys are taking the uh if you have taken the picture you might be noticing i'm not like being super accurate here because i'm, I'm actually looking on the other side so uh, I'm drawing here, okay? and I'm looking over this side, okay? So I'm just, like, kind of talking and looking, and, you know. But again, the uh, the idea is not about the accuracy here, mostly. I'm just, like, you know, we're just, like, trying to tell you basically how uh, how to feel, right? Today. All right, I'm just going to share again. I'll just go over a few more references pretty quick. Okay, there we have one. Um, oops, no, 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 And we have one more, okay. Yeah, there we go. We, we got two figures. The one that I, uh, the one that I showed you, I'm just gonna draw that, you know, but uh, I'm not, not gonna be sure. <laughs> All right, um, grab your shots. We're gonna be getting ready for these three more references pretty quickly. Okay. Um, You've got three to five more minutes left. Sure, thank you. All right, let's stop share. Let's go for, yeah, let's go for these three rounds. All right, the first one is pretty uh, pretty amazing. Um, now she's got this like shoulder, uh, the angle of the shoulder, but look at the sweep that she has. Now, as I'm, I'm, I'm speaking sweep, right? I'm sweeping my hand, okay? That is the physical experience that, uh, that is the physical experience that you wanna have. And this is an S corso. I'm gonna be doing the S corso thing. You know, to be honest, I uh, all the time I've made this figure, I've just made her torso. That's so amazing. So uh, do that one. Now, in, in two minutes or whatever time that you have, it doesn't mean that you're always drawing the full body. You can also uh, go for like the specific parts. Let's say I'm I'm getting this like specific parts apart right now. Let's draw it like this. You can do that too, okay? It doesn't necessarily always matter that you just draw the whole figure and get pretty good time. She's doing this, and the hand is coming out like that. Uh, that hand is going right off the page. And then we have this, this uh, volume right here. That's the pelvis. So there we go. So we have uh, like the torso study here. Gonna be drawing like a few lines in here just to like present her her uh, strain in the back, right? Because she's actually push, pushing a lot in there. And might be like this. Now, if you guys have uh, been following the channel or if you're one of the students or members on the website, you know how much I love sculpting. So yeah, that's a little sculpting uh thing in there. All right, I'll try to draw a little thumbnail there pretty quickly, just to uh yeah, just to like show you how the whole body, how to do the whole body. This is the front to back, um, front foot here. And this one, I would say it's, uh, it's also a front to back. Right here. So we got this uh, uh, this perspective thing. This way. Look at the scapula, right? Uh, look at that awesome strain in there. And this one goes there. And uh, there we go. We have the, the head. Okay. All right, let's go for next one pretty quick. I think we have just one more shot, so yeah, let's do it. All right, this uh this female figure, it's pretty good, you know. This awesome uh C transition, you know, it's like swooping it like 
you know, it's like this. Sometimes it almost feels like, uh, now we are using a lot of metaphors, so uh, this time the metaphor for me is like whipping. It's almost like a whipping, a uh, whip cracking, you know, so, so it just sounds like it, you know. So, for example, if I'm talking about whip, it's like, whoosh, whoosh, you know, kind of like that kind of sound for me. Oh, I think I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> You hear it, uh, all right, so it's kind of like this. Oh. I'll come leaving off like that. All right, uh, and look at the shoulder, this awesome shoulder. It, uh, let's see, she, she's like pushing her shoulder out. I don't want to feel it, okay? I feel this like, like pushing out. We can use as many lines as you want, by the way. Again, it's not a clean up drawing, <laughs> you know, it's just your experiences. And black and white out. So I'm really like pushing this out. This is the arrow that I'm using to like, this is the applied force, like all pushing into this side, like creating this stick to like slide up that way, right? Is what we need. Um, any questions on the chat, guys, by the way? Because I'm not able to see. Like, now people are just loving it. They're saying how much they love watching you on paper. Wow, thank you. All right, again, I'm probably run out of paper. <laughs> All right, same thing like that, okay? But I'm just gonna be drawing this small one here, like here. I try to draw a really small one for the whole figure. Okay. So again, the sweeping up, like this way, pushing into this here. Again, this like, the uh, this like force coming in here. And pushing up in here, that's the applied for. See, I, I'm just like, how much that's hitting in there. Okay. Again, this bring the shoulder up in here, the other hand in there, the center line. And then uh, I love this. I want to push this leg actually a little bit further. Okay. So it's actually on an angle like this. And then this one, so I'm going to come forward and I'm gonna go back. I'm not using uh, too much of the shape or, or the form in this one. I guess this is like the pure forcing, I would say. Not too much. Maybe it like some part maybe here I'm using. But yeah, mostly not. And uh, there we go. I'm just going to put a quick thing in here to like balance her off. And obviously, we need the head. Again. All right. Yeah. So I think I have out of time now. Is that right, guys? Yep. Yeah, okay. great. That was awesome. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna hand it off to Mike now. Thank you. Thank you. That was yeah, it was very exciting to watch. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing Matunja did. I'm showing you here the references I'm gonna go through. Um, on the far left is Rachel Bradley. So you can find her on Instagram at I'm Rachel Bradley, uh, R-A-C-H-E-L Bradley, B-R-A-D-L-E-Y. I'm Rachel Bradley. I just love that pose. Had a lot of drama in it. Uh, and then these two other uh, images that you see in Photoshop here, they are photographs that I took uh, ways back when I did the uh, character design force book. Uh, so these um, were taken down in LA, like I said, for the use of that book. Uh, I think Nicole, yeah, Nicole was the name of the model in the center, and on the right is John. He's pretty infamous in Los Angeles, especially for this pirate outfit that he's had. He's done this many times at all the different animation studios as well. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to get my other camera up and running here so you can see my paper. I'm going to stop share here, and I'm going to pin um, my paper, so you should be able to see it now. I think that's clear. Let's make sure it's focused. So <clears throat> what we got here? Um, first of all, you can see on the page here, I was doing this while Mertunje was drawing also just to, I'll do this like before I work, uh, you know, before I start drawing, I wanted to get the tool to, uh, to have an edge that I really like, right? So 
I have, I can't remember the name of these guys. This is a wax and a stick. And I happen to like waxes and graphite. I'm looking if it's engraved in any of the sides. It's not, I think it's Pentel something or other, but I, I have to get back to you on this. Um, so I have blue here. Um, these are actually quite uh, a bit of fun to work with. There's a Lyra graphite crayons. Believe it or not, this is a Lyra graphite crayon that's turned into this little silver bullet looking thing that's so like smooth, right, and rounded. So I draw with this a lot. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna work with today. I also have, I also grabbed here uh, some Caran I used to work with Caran for many, many years. Uh, this is black. I have a brown one here as well. Uh, so that's it, right? And oh, and I grabbed my, um, my Mars black that uh, Mutunje was working with. So I might play around with that as well. So what you're not seeing is I have a screen in front of me, a large vertical screen that's got my reference on it. Maybe in the future, I'll try to set it up so you guys could see my back view and see like what I'm, you know, what I'm seeing. Uh, but for now, hopefully you saw the photographs, right? Uh, and I'm going to start drawing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be like teaching versus drawing, but let's just kind of get into it. I'm going to start with this and just see how it goes. This is the one that Matunji was working on. I'm working on 18 by 24 paper, so it's it's pretty big. And I'm a little worried that this might be very small for that size. If I find it is, then I'll probably move over to the um I'll probably move over to the Karandash, but I'll inform you guys of that. Right. So let's just let's just get started here, right? I just rev this up. Like, whoa, the shoulder's really narrow there. I just noticed how narrow that is. So I have a habit, I think my thing is to like kind of ghost it in really quick, like I'm doing, and then I'll just like nail down the true contour of the anatomy, right? When I somebody see. learns, yeah. Just your, you know, the upper section of the paper is not like really ah. visible. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to pay attention to that. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So I'll try to, um, you know, when we're teaching force, I'll, I'll try to keep people in this sort of ghosting aspect for um, a longer period of time. But you can see I'm doing a little bit of like that ghosting, that soft touch approach, and then try to nail it with like a line, you know, like, uh, but that's what the real contour looks like, right? A lot of work going on here. I just want to feel this out. I like the shoulder coming down. The muscles like dipped in there. I feel her scapular like pulling off of here. All right, yeah, just a lot of great stuff going on like right there. Right, her breast is like right there. Tunje said this a little bit earlier, but there is sort of a thing about, I don't know, it's this idea of like feeling it, you know? I used to, when I started off teaching, I used to use that word a lot. And I just always felt like, um, I don't know, you know, it was just, just a little too uh, ambiguous, you know, like how do you teach somebody to feel it? <laughs> but, um, but I agree with Matunja. I think there is like a thing about having to feel it out, you know, like just really getting, I don't know, even just getting excited about the energies of the mind and working, you know, right? Feeling the, the passion behind that. So this pencil is doing better than I thought it would. I'm getting like a nice wide edge, I guess, on it. It's starting to hold up even over the size of the drawing. You know, I'm going to definitely go off the page, even though I'm at 18 by 24 here. But you can see that I'm getting too, too big, too big. So even 18 by 24 isn't really isn't big enough. I like moving much broader than that. You know, much bigger than that. The bigger you draw, the more physical, um, you know, the more physical the experience comes for you. So if there's those of you out there that are drawing any of those like live sessions that are starting to happen on, um, on what do you call on Instagram, um, be aware of that. Be aware of the size you're drawing at for those sessions, you know, the size paper. The bigger, honestly, I think the bigger, the more you're going to deal and understand force, at least at the beginning, until you get good at it, you can start going smaller than after that. But I think size matters at the start. You know, I think it does make a difference. So here you could, I'm trying to pull it down so you can see, I, I started just plopping the hand in there. All right. 
Let's try the same thing. I'm gonna do the same pose. I'm gonna try the Karen dash on it. See how it works. So here's Karen dash, got this little chunk. When it's this small, man, I really love just going with the full size, the side of it, not size, the side of it. Um, and just allowing myself to, to kind of skate around a lot. Just like moving all over the place and allowing myself to have this freedom, right? I'm not really, sometimes I'll draw to design. Right now I'm drawing full force. It's like, I just want to feel this out. I'm going to feel the power of all this. Right. And I'm not drawing heavy handed. I haven't even done the specificity yet. Like I did before that you saw me do here. I'm just like feeling it out. You can see it's like slowly starting to come together. Right here. I'm going to darken the camera up a little bit. I think that might help you see the drawing better. Right. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Right. So man, this is just me like the freedom of speed and being able to move around, you know, I think is very much part of the uniqueness of the force drawing experience versus other ways of drawing. Um, yeah, that's fun. And this, this keeps being more vertical than I anticipate. Every time I look up there, I'm like, whoa, that's, that's actually a steeper drop than that I anticipated as we get into the rig cage, right? It's like that. So hopefully some of you are looking at that reference uh, to see what I'm doing, what I'm actually looking at, I think is really helpful. She's got her scapula again, that pops out here that I just really like, All right? And you can see her spine dips in here like that down to her rear end, but you can see the skin pull right here, right? Really nice how that pulls along there. Right? We've got her shoulder over here, which we can darken in and her arm and her arms coming out, right? So I can get some wrapping if I wanted in there. Really feel the energy pull across the scapula there. Keep thinking about the sort of back of her haircut there and how it hooks up to her head. I like, I like that surface that's going on right there. You see, it's like a box plane for the back. Let's see, your breast is like right there. All right, so there's the drawing. Now, the reason um, there is such a thing as soft touch is, you know, or ghosting, whatever we want to call it, um, it's to allow me to feel and think, right? Like, so you saw the effect, you know, the effectiveness of that and me creating this drawing, right? I did so much moving and freedom and, you know, it's fearlessness then. It helps me be less fear, fearful, right? It's kind of the same thing what in the olden days or even nowadays, I mean, you know, artists will use different color to draw with. In the old days, it used to be um, like a non-photo blue, right? So I'm gonna go to the next pose, which is of Nicole in the clothing with the pink hat. I'm gonna use this blue um, wax uh, drawing utensil. And this is what people would have done in the past, right? You would have started with something like this. And Photoshop even, I mean, nowadays, again, there's still artists that might draw with uh, a certain color, right? One color first. Right, so here's this blue, and that's basically what soft touch is doing, right? I, I, I don't have to commit, like heavily commit to anything, right? I can just feel this stuff out, right? You can see how light that blue is. You can barely even see it. I can barely even see it, right? But it's there, and it's not the paper anymore. I can start seeing marks that I'm making, right? And that's cool because there's barely anything here, and I feel like I have the freedom to sketch, right? To just figure this stuff out, and part of that figuring out is understanding the rhythms, and plus. Uh, when we're doing it with force, you know, it's letting me feel the energy, right? Which I think is super powerful, right? If I want to design and push shapes or like make things exaggerated here, let's say I want to push this elbow out, right? So I draw a light circle for myself there. It's really big. And I go, I'm going to make that elbow really pop out. But I don't want to do that in black, right? Because I have to figure it out, right? It takes some problem solving, right? It's invisible in the background, uh, the way that that works, right? So I want like form in there. I can get all that stuff in there, right? I can make her hat maybe. I might make this a little more pointed and maybe I flare out the hat a little bit more, right? So I'm, I'm making decisions, right? I'm making design decisions. And you know, the day can come of course where you could do this all in black straight away. It's not like that's bad, right? It's not like there's anything wrong with that. 
but normally, you know, an artist will go through a stage where they're, uh, you know, they're, they're thinking, right? They're thinking things out, right? So yeah, let's go in with black, right? And, I'll, and now it's a little easier for me. I can get cleaner faster if I wanted to, because, uh, because I did a lot of thinking already, right? So, you know, it just makes things simpler, right? I can focus on the lines that I want. Here's this big elbow that I'm not sure if you're able to see in blue, but I made this elbow really come forward, right? Like very dramatically, right? Like that, you see? So now that elbow feels like, boom, it's popping out. It's almost like a cleanup in a sense, right? But I wanna do that cleanup still with force also, by the way, it's very easy to do cleanup and fall into the trap of drawing, not feeling like it has energy. So you wanna watch out for that too, right? Uh, I like these ruffles in the dress, right? So these are going like this and they kind of go like this. Let's get the ruffles coming down. I'm not going to spend my time. Normally, I would pay attention to trying to break up the shapes of the ruffles and so on. I'm not going to do that. I could see off my blue drawing, I made it longer in the black. It felt like it was a little off in the blue, and that's fine. I just fixed that while I'm drawing. All right. It's got these crazy shoes. I think I might exaggerate here and say, well, it's like really gigantic. Made them taller, basically. Like that. Again, I'm not going to fit. All right. Great habit of mine. How's the chat going there, guys? Anything? Think it. Okay. So you can see I didn't soft touch this as much with black because I did all that work with blue, right? I just wanted to, you know, you know, I want you to be aware of like why we even do the soft touch approach. It's really the same as what I did here, basically, right? Like I'm doing all that thinking. The difference, I would say the difference is if I'm doing it in black, um, I have to learn, I have to learn how to have better hand control. I have to learn sensitivity, right? And that's the benefit of it. If you do it with the blue, then I could be heavy handed the whole time. I could just could do blue heavy handed because you could barely see it. And then I could just go to the black line and just make this a uh, you know, very dark, heavy cleanup line and do this kind of thing, right? Um, where, like I said, we're trying to groom you to, to learn how to get better hand control with the way that we teach, okay? All right, so there's the second one. Let's see, I got one more I'll just crank out here so I can hand it over to Swenley, make sure he's got some time. Uh, this is the last one. This is of John. Uh, let's see, I'll grab the Lyra Graphite for this one. All right, so now I got my Lyra Graphite in my hands. This one really lets me soft touch, I have to say. You know, it's like I could really get around here. It's nice and fat too. I like the thickness of it. And I can just kind of move around like I did with the blue, right? I can feel stuff out, right? You can see I'm, it's just slowly like showing up, right? I'm gonna go for the big elbow here again. I'm gonna push the space right there. It gives me the chance to move around. I got his shirt pulling off of here. All those other clothing's pulling like this. Got this really big pair of pants here with his knee sitting about right there and all the fabrics pulling off of that. And I'm gonna lose his damn shoe and his boot again. I'll get that there, all right? And then this is here. Next time I'm gonna have to be on like gigantic, <laughs> gigantic paper. I'm gonna move his arm in a little bit more. Like to there, and then his pinky's hanging out right there. Now, granted, if you're drawing under the clock, right, the pressure of the clock, then I have to limit the soft touch a little more. I'll get darker faster, but I still move the same way. Here, I'll, I'll do the rest of this like dark right off the top, right? So here, I'll, I'll get dark what I was doing. All right, let's just get this plugged in here. I'm gonna pull here. I'll just go darker faster. Clothing, you wanna make sure that you're still drawing through the clothes, right? To make sure that the clothes match up when the body reveals itself, that it all works. 
It's very easy. I, I notice students do this with like hats, hats on heads, right? Like we'll draw the hat on the head, but it's not really fitting on the head. Like the head doesn't fit in it. So you always want to like draw through. I'll make sure that his calf actually fits in his pants, right? So that's like pulling like that. He's got that other arm sweeping down like that and coming up and holding this telescope. I hope if anything, what we're helping motivate you with is if you are in these other sessions, don't forget what you're learning here, right? Like keep drawing with force, make sure you're getting force into those gesture, those gesture drawing sessions that you're going to, to help you, you know, get really confident, um, forceful drawings out of your gesture drawing, right? Very easy to go, you know, somewhere else, for instance, and then like forget everything that you guys have been learning here and spending your time um, with us on, right? So just don't forget. Aside from aside from that, like it's it's fun to draw with force, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, there's that thing as well. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that, but yes, that's true. Plus, you can tell. I mean, we're having a lot of fun. I'm I'm enjoying myself, you know, and I'm finally getting this setup going in my office here. So I'm really hoping that you guys will see more of me uh, doing this kind of thing, like we're doing today on paper. Where uh, personally, I think I'm strongest, you know, for me versus even digitally. I mean, I spent, you know, I spent two decades on paper. So, uh, you know, digital is still second, you know, it's third home, not second home. It's like, really, I, I got to be here on the paper. This is the page. And this is where I, this is where I grew up. You know, I grew up here. I learned how to teach here. I learned how to draw here, you know? So, you know, yeah, I'm very comfortable here. Really enjoy just sitting down and drawing the model. The next step, of course, will be to get live models in here. So that'll be hopefully something that happens this year that I'll try to work on. But at least right now, you got these photos. You can see what we're doing, right? We're getting through this drawing here. I think Ed said something before about like the fearlessness thing, you know, and you just got to decide like not to be afraid, period, the end, game over, right? No more fear, just draw. It's a drawing. It's okay if you mess up, you start over again. There's another, you know, there's tons of sheets of paper back here that are blank, right? So it's nothing stopping me from just switching over to another sheet, right? Make your mistakes, okay? All right, I'm gonna stop there. I'm cutting down to Swanley's time. Um, it's all yours, Swanley, take over. Yes, thank you, Mike. That was amazing. Thanks. Lots of fun. Yes, let's go over here. So yes, thanks Mike and Matunje for the amazing demos. And for the digital artists, art, artists out there, you're not forgotten. I'm going to represent you today. So let's see. I'm just going to set a timer just so I don't go too long on one post. Try to keep it like around two to three minutes. And I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, which is for shape. So let's just go for it. Even when drawing with four shape, the trick is to still stay loose and fluid. I'm thinking through, I love structure as well. So I'm always thinking about how the different body parts fits into each other also simple for shape for the food there you can do some quick wrapping and just to make sure i don't make this angle less dramatic than it is let me draw that angle to begin with So even though my focus is shape, I'm still drawing very freely, very forcefully, flowing around, I'm using quick wrapping to get some form. I'm 
Now I'm moving this, this arm because I want to clarify the silhouette. So let's see how this is going to work out. Maybe I put that sword on this angle. Also keep in mind that the reference is just a reference. Don't you don't have to copy the on clarities. Now, if something is unclear, the drawing is your drawing, so you have the liberty to move things around. And with the hand up here, holding this sword. Yeah, I'm liking all the variety and angles that we are getting. Quickly shape this out. Now, so four shape is a very fast and efficient way to get the gesture down on the page. And it also helps a lot with proportions, you know, because I'm paying attention to the positive and the negative shapes as I'm going. Let's see, I'm two minutes in. And that is three minutes. The last thing I want to do is just add very quick ground plane in here. Now it's good to get into the habit of relating the figure to a 3D space. So you're not just drawing figures that are just floating on the page. Okay, that is number one. Let's reset the timer. And let's go to, let's go for this pose. Starting with the torso mass, getting the simple shape in there. And this coming out towards us. And we can see her top is helping us see the volume. Get the V shape, the pelvis in there. And we can see how the thigh fits into the pelvis structure. Now, simple four shape. This is coming out and this is going back. You can see a bit of the heel and the foot. Now, here again, I'm thinking about how this thigh fits into the pelvis. Uh, this is also coming out. Same here, establish the space that she's in. Let's get the center. This arm is popping out, going back and holding that sword. shape out the blade a little bit and then let's go for this thrusting arm slightly hyperextended here at the elbow you can see the angle change between the uh, upper and the lower arm very quick hint for the fingers there this is going away Uh, we have the chest here, the front. Screen froze. Oh, the audio awesome. seems to be coming through fine. Like I can hear you, and I can see what you're doing. Maybe jump out and jump back in. It's still frozen. Uh, no, I think you're good now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's do one more before we finish. 
Uh, let's go to a new layer. And let's see. Yeah, this one is very dynamic. Yeah, it's a cool pose. Okay, let's go for it. I'm using the force gesture brush, by the way, just in case some of you are wondering. It's a lot of stretch, so I really want to push the applied force on that upper torso. This leg is the support. The foot back here. And again, I want the sense of the space that she's in. Should we really stretch that leg? Uh, let's see, this is coming out slightly, it seems. And if all this thrust into the shoulder and that arm. And again, I'm moving the arm around to clarify the silhouette. You now, so we have this negative space, which helps the pose read. Get a top in here to give us some form. Uh, the other shoulders back here, we see the arm pop out. You now the hand is right there. Around here is the elbow joint and the forearm gets wider and tapers. Uh, we have this other sword sitting back here. And force is coming from the back again. And I'm thinking about the relationship between the force of the back and how it's applying itself to the face. Now in the head, it be right here. And we have the hair flowing around. Let's get the center in there. It's a bit more pressure here because of the weight. And some wrapping. Yeah, so there we have our gesture. Now, so pretty fast as you can see, especially using four shapes. So now it will be pretty easy to just spend maybe another like 10 minutes, you know, and add some details and refine this. Okay, so that's good enough. Action is crystal clear, clear silhouettes. You know, we got the main ideas. I wanted the, the trust, you know, in the upper body and the stretch of the leg. You now the, the weight support on this leg. So all the main ideas of the pose that I liked about this reference are there. You know, so it's, it's good to go. Man, that is so awesome. Yeah, it's cool. yeah thank you. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy today. I'm going to stop the screen share. All right. Let's see if I can get the gallery mode here so we can all say goodbye. So I hope you guys, oh, that's fun. You did one too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, gesture drawing workshop. I think we're going to do more of these over the next few weeks. This was a lot of fun. Maybe we'll pick like certain subjects uh, that we can all kind of rally around. And, um, you know, take it from there. It could be the same model, might be a costume to model, it might be a certain time restraint, whatever it might be. Um, but I really enjoyed uh, today. Uh, it gives me an excuse to sit down and draw on paper, which is super exciting. Uh, it seemed like you all were really um, inspired by us, you know, 
uh, drawing and watching. So if you have any suggestions, always feel free to put them in the chat while we're in the meetings, or you can email me at mike at drawingforce.com. Uh, before we go, uh, let me just grab my cursor. There it is. And head over to Photoshop again. I just want to close with a reminder, again, of all the sales that are going on. If you look, you like what we're doing, um, then right now is the time to come in and you know join drawingforce.com and learn from us. Uh, there's the mentorships, which are the last two, last spring, 12 and 36. There's the live force basics workshop, which is coming up on the 21st. And then there's the pre-recorded one um, that you can also um, go and check out. Uh, the links are all in the description uh, for today. And uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, lots of fun today. Uh, we, before we go, I had a question here from, uh, what was the name? I think it was Bilal or something like that, all right? It's a really big question. It's like, uh, how, how do I use this? Like, so what's the point? <laughs> you know, and I was, I wrote there very quickly, like it's, it's easy to sound grandiose, but, uh, you know, I've been teaching this for, uh, man, 25, 27 years. I, I've taught drawing for 30 in general now. Uh, and what we teach here really, uh, really permeates into everything. You know, at the start, it's about learning how to draw the figure. So it helps you create believable figures. It doesn't have to even be dramatic, but just believable because of force and rhythm and anatomy. It's like believability and appeal that comes out of that, I think is a really big deal. So that's at the core of what we teach. But the way we teach, the way we think um, while we're teaching how to draw the figure really permeates to everything else. So it could, you know, I have to you know, I have students right now who are background designers in the entertainment industry and they came through force, right? So go figure, like, how did that happen? Right, it's because of the thinking process. It's not really about just drawing the figure. It's like, we're teaching you guys to think and feel a certain way about your work as you're moving through it. Uh, so it's, it's big. It's like a really, really big question with a very big answer. I'm just trying to give you um, the short answer to that, but uh, I could say it's contributed to my, life in so many ways besides just the joy of sitting here and drawing for you guys so with that i will close um thank you again swanley and matunjay for all your awesome uh skills showing us how you do what you do and we will all see you guys next friday okay so take care we'll see you then bye guys nice bye bye you. see ya All right, we're out. <laughs>